first number one. First and foremost, we want to give our praises, glory, and honor to your Alba Shemel Shai. Hebrew Israelites come out each and every week and teach the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans to God's chosen people. All right, and that's your other 12 tribes of Israel. It's high, high time for you to wake up out of sleep because your salvation is near, man. In particular, dealing with the elect of Israel because the Lord's not dealing with all, the whole entire nation. You know, and we're out, we're sitting up out here to warn you of these things. The so-called white men destroying you, putting you in FEMA camps. You know what I'm saying? We're out here to warn you of the race riots, civil unrest. Out here to warn you of all these things and calamities that are soon to come, man. We're out here to warn you, all right? We're out here to warn you of the World War III, the Mark of the Beast, all right, we're out here to warn you of all these things that are soon to come, man. And ultimately, Yahweh Shai's second return, who he called Jesus Christ, man, who's coming to redeem the elect of Israel, man. Okay? That's what the Lord has sent his men out here to do. And if you and if you haven't been watching the news, a lot of things is going on, man. You know, the petrol dollar, if you have not, if you don't know what that dollar bill is in your damn pocket, you ever read that part where it says Federal Reserve note? That's what it is. It's a debt number, man. It's not real money. Real money is gold and silver, man. That, what, America forsook, what, hundreds of years ago? You know what I'm saying? These things are about to happen, man. In this earth. The collapse of the dollar is about to happen. That's right. The mark of the beast is about to happen, man. It is so close. You can see it, man. If you have eyes to see, see and ears to hear and a mind to understand, a lot of these people are bugged out of their goddamn mind. They don't know what the hell's going on. So give me, what's that, first, uh, second Ezra? Second Ezra 15 and 1? That's what the Lord has established his men to do. To show our people what's going to happen before it happens, man. That's what the definition of a prophet is, man. That's what we do. We see what, go what goes on according to the scriptures. We come out in the street corners. All right, sanctioned by the Heavenly Father and His Holy Spirit that He puts on us to show what's going to happen before it happens. Go ahead. This is Second Edwards, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Guess what? That's what we're doing on the street corners. We are speaking the words of prophecy, man. Because the words that we're reading was sent back five foot thousands of years ago, man. And they're coming, coming to pass right before your eyes right now, in these modern day times, like the Bible tells you. Okay? We're showing you. So read. Which I will put in thy mouth, says the Most High. He's putting, and guess what? He's putting these words in the mouth of the prophet Ezra and many of the different prophets of, of old, man. And to be a prophet, you have to be an Israelite. You have to, be, have to be from the sea line of one of these 12 tribes, man. That's right. You can't be a damn prophet of an Arab or, you know, an Ishmaelite or an Elamite, a so-called East Indian. You can't be none of those damn prophets. You can't be a prophet because the Lord ain't dealing with you. You're only, be, you're only dealing with idols and demons, man. We're dealing with the true power of the universe, which is Yahweh, man. That's right. That's who we deal with. And the Son who mediates us to the Most High. Go ahead. Verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper. Guess what? Get the hell out of here with that, that madness, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we're out here to do. The Lord gives it, put, put the word in the prophets. Guess what? We're the prophets back on the scene 2,000 years later, thousands of years later. All right? Because the Bible speaks of, of uh, reincarnation. All right? He, put, he has us read out of these books that were written in paper, that the Lord established to have his men to write his words in paper. And we're reading it out. We're pulling it out and we're reading it. Read. For they are faithful and true. And guess what? We have faith. All right? We have faith that these words are going to come to pass. All these calamities that are soon to come upon this earth, they're going to come to pass, man. <clears throat> Just like every prophecy that the Bible's ever spoke of have came to pass. The coming of the Greeks, Alexander, you know, that damn homosexual. You know what I'm saying? The first great uh, empire of the so-called white men, the Edomites. That came to pass, man. The Babylonians uh, taking down Judah. That came to pass, man. 
the destruction of the temple in 70 AD, of the Romans persecuting the Jews, that's prophesied in the Bible. That's historical information and knowledge, man. What were, what were uh, the first world at war, man? That came to pass, man. That's, descri this, that's described in what? Revelation the ninth chapter? It came to pass. Guess what? America's destruction is soon to come to pass, man. You know, Edomites, so-called white people's enslavement, man. By hands of who you call Jesus Christ, a black man from the tribe of Judah. And the elitment of you so-called black, Hispanics, Native Americans who are identified as the true Israelites according to the Bible. So go ahead. Verse 3. Uh -huh. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Right, so there's people that imagine different things, man. Oh, they, they think America, like so-called white man, we deal with him, he thinks that his kingdom is going to go on forever. He thinks that everything that he's established is not going to be destroyed or brought down to the ground, from which the Bible tells, tells you that Esau's kingdom is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Russia got, what, ther what intercontinental ballistic missiles pointed at America? Well, how many, how many, uh, FEMA, re uh, how many fe FEMA regions are there? Ten? 10 or 12 or something like that. Gotta point out every every which direction. This place is going up in smokes, man. That's described in the Bible. Read. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Right. Let not the incredulity of, of these men trouble you, man. Which which means the unbelief. Actually, you know what? Just hold that, you Romans 3 and 3. Because incredulity means to be an unbeliever. Or, or to not believe in something. And we don't have incredulity. We have belief, we have faith, man. So go ahead. This is Romans chapter, Slocky. This is Romans chapter three, verse three. Uh -huh. For what if some did not believe? I guess, what if some did not believe, man? I believe. Do you believe, what do you believe in, brother? I believe in Allah. Are you believe in Allah? Well, Allah is a is a Arab God, man. That's not the God of the Bible. That's the God of the of the Ishmaelites, man. Well, Elijah Muhammad was a false prophet, man. You better you know who you really are, though, brother. And Malcolm X was a false prophet too. Hey, man. Hey, hey the truth hurts, man, brother. But we tell you the truth. The real prophets, just like do you know who Marcus Garvey is? Yeah. You know what Marcus Garvey said? He said that in the future, this is this was like back in the 1950s, he said that there's gonna be men on the street corners where you're gonna have to get your answers from. He said that directly. You know what he was talking about? He was talking about this knowledge coming out in these in these last days, brother. That's right. Because all those look, all those groups that was set up, you know, like the so-called Black Panthers or the so-called Islamic groups and whatnot, you know. They, all these groups were set up, Fred you know, Hampton, say it again? Fred Hampton, yeah, Fred Hampton and all them. But here's the thing, though, a lot of those guys, I'm not, not saying Fred Hampton, but definitely uh, was it Hugh Newton. A lot of these guys were set up, you know, agents, man, from, from the FBI. You know, you know about Cointel? Yeah. You know, you know about, uh, uh, what was it? What was, what was the uh, group, like the Blackstone Raiders? You know what I'm saying? A lot of these groups were set up, brother. Yeah, yeah, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, here's the thing, man. We're, we're out here to set up, we're, we're set up out here to show our people who they are. Because all these things, like all, all those groups back in the day, you know, they were, you know, our people who had a sincere um, motive behind it, but the truth, but ultimately what happened? You know what I'm saying? Our people, all those groups got destroyed, right? But guess what? The reason why they, they were destroyed because the Lord wasn't with them. The true God of your, of of our of black so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is the God of the Bible, That's not Chris, the God of Christianity, not the God of Roman Catholicism, but the God of the Bible. Christianity has nothing to do with the Bible. That's right. That's right. Roman Catholicism had nothing to do with the Bible, brother. That's right. Hmm? Yeah. Because we come out the full Bible, man. Hey, you know that you know that the Bible says that the real Jews are so-called black people. Yeah, yeah. You know that the Bible talks about the transatlantic slave trade. 
Never heard of that? Let's let, well, let's. Can we show you that real quick, brother? I gotta go, man. You gotta go. Come back around. Come back yeah, around. Yeah, dude. I'll be back around when you go today. Oh, okay, brother. You know we'll, we'll be out here, bro. Well. Hey, man, that's what we're out here for. We're out here for you, brother. We're out here for our people. No problem. So, <clears throat> go back to, what is that, Romans 3 and 3? Go ahead. This is Romans, chapter 3, verse 3. Uh-huh. For what if some did not believe? Right, the Lord said, what if some did not believe? Have incredulity. What if they do have it? Go ahead. Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Shall the faith, shall how them having no faith of the Most High have any effect on, on you and your faith? Go ahead. God forbid. God, God forbid what? Like, go ahead. Ye, let God be true. But if every man a liar. Read that again. Verse 4. The Most High forbid. No, read, 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 read that last word again. Verse three. Oh, salam again. Uh, the faith of the Most High without effect. Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead. Go Verse ahead. four. Yeah. God forbid. Right. Ye, let the Most High be true. Let the Most High be true. Read. But every man a liar. Every man a liar. But every man a liar, man. Because everybody that's out here believing in their own vain opinion, if you believe in a white Jesus or believe in a white Christ or believe in a white God, then you're, you're out of your damn mind, man. You know? I mean, it's, it, well, look, it's one thing if the so-called white man, the Edomite, your enemy, believes that, but you're out of your damn mind if you're a black, Hispanic, and Native American, look, nothing like these damn devils, but then believe that that same devil is Christ and God, man. You're out of your damn mind. But then again, it was, it was beaten into you during the time of slavery. And, and it's like this, man. You know, you got sellouts of our people. And, that, and we're, we're going to tell you right now, man, it's going to be time of separation real soon. And the ones that want to get in front of that, uh, in front of what, what do they call uh, civil unrest? What do they call insurrection? What do they call race wars? You're going to be the first casualties, man. And all praise because the Lord needs to purge out the virus in our nation, man. That brought our people to this captivity that we're in right now. Go ahead. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings. Right. And as, as it is written, that thou may be justified in thy sayings, man. So go back in the second Ezra, man. Because these things are coming, it's soon coming right now. <clears throat> They got this this old homosexual rapper, <laughs> you know what was his thing? Kid Kid Boo or something? I don't know what the hell these new rappers, these new age homosexual rappers are nowadays. But this guy's openly got a damn chip in his damn hand, man. Hey, uh, where, where's that? Uh, do we got that sign right right there? Come on, yeah, that sign right there, man. The mark of the beast. They plainly showing it to you. On the news, it's becoming more apparent right now. And that's going to be mandatory. And then guess what? The scriptures tell you that that's going to happen in the near future. Actually, we're in that time right now. But it's going to be made mandatory. You can, It's optional right now, but it's going to be made mandatory to take this mark of the beast's microchip. But guess what? The elect of your so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans, the elect of Israel, won't take that. But the two-thirds will take that because they have no faith, man. They don't believe in God, man. They don't believe in his word, man. They believe in the so-called white man in his kingdom. Go ahead. You want me to go from the top? No, 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 not, not from the top, from where you left off. Okay. Incredulity. All right. Not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right, so a lot of our people that's walking around in America, <clears throat> walking the streets of Seattle, you know, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans that don't believe in God, don't believe in the scriptures, while the Lord has sent his men up to teach you the scriptures, then guess what? You're going to die, man, in your unfaithfulness. You're going to die a horrible death. 
It's gonna be some deaths out here that's gonna be like, <laughs> it's gonna be like someone told a tale. Give me, what is that, uh, Psalms 90 and 8, 99? <laughs> Get Psalms 90 and 9, cause it's gonna be, just like it's gonna be picture perfect, like a beautiful story, right? It's gonna be the exact same, like a beautiful story when Christ comes back and takes us up out of this captivity, right? It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be like someone written it in a book, like a play, like a play or something like that, or a movie. There's gonna be some horrific deaths that you only can describe in movies, but they're gonna be made manifest in reality. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 90, verse 9. Uh -huh. For all our days are past, away in thy wrath. Right. We spend our years as a tale that is told. We spend our years as a tale that is told, man. So what does that mean? This, hey, this whole thing is like a movie that was written long before you was even born. Long before you was even thought of, man. There's gonna be a lot of deaths like that, though. There's gonna be picture perfect deaths. <laughs> you know, like someone getting eaten by s <laughs> animals and whatnot, or a building fall fall upon them and what whatnot. You know, that's these are these are gonna be the horrific deaths that's gonna be taking place for our people that don't believe, man. You know, being zapped by lightning, falling into the earth. These are things that's gonna happen, so go ahead. So go back into what you was in. <clears throat> this is Second Edges, chapter 15, verse five. Uh -huh. Behold, says the Most High, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Right, the, he, the Lord is gonna bring a sword, famine, death, and destruction upon this earth, man. Upon the America, especially because this place is a city of destruction. This place is nothing but desolation and, and degradation. Just look and look around, man. People smoke out of their damn mind. Well, you know, weed is legalized. I mean, that was by design because they want people bugged out of their mind even further down the hole. You got drunk ass people out here. Don't know what the hell's going on. Don't know what left and right means. Don't know what up and down means. You know, go ahead. Verse six, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. The whole earth is polluted because of wickedness, man. Now, what is wickedness, man? It's, a, it's anything that goes contrary to the laws of God, man. Anything that's vile, man. <clears throat> and when you have a vile man ruling the earth, then guess what? That's what's gonna happen. Degradation of the earth's gonna happen, man. So read that again. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. In other words, homosexuality, transsexuality, sexual debauchery, murder, you know, thievery, you know, taking up the natural resources, overdoing it, overkill on this earth, you know, destroying nature, destroying the children of God, which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and making them break the laws, such as the commandments of the Lord when they're supposed to be the true judges? These are the things that's going on in this earth, man. So give me, so with that, hold that, give me Isaiah 24. Give me Isaiah 24 real quick, man. A lot of people need to wake the hell up, man. A lot of people need, need to come and get down with this program, man. 24 and, uh, Two. Actually, you know what? Where is that? 24 and uh, 1. This is the book of Isaiah. Hey, somebody, somebody switch over here. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 1. Uh -huh. Behold, the Most High maketh the earth empty. Right, the Lord has allowed this earth to be empty because he allowed a vain, profane man to run this land, to run America, to run the whole earth, man. And who is that? The one that has military bases and U.S. embassies all throughout the entire planet. That's and other people's business, man. Thus saith the scriptures. And that's who? The, the Edomites, the so-called white men, who has the children of Israel in captivity right now. Go ahead. And make it waste and turn it upside down. 
And how and the Lord has allowed these things to turn upside down really because of our transgressions. He said he was gonna allow a vile, putrid man to come up and overtake us, man. Overtake the whole planet Earth. And guess what? That has happened, man. Just like the Bible said, said so, man. Just as the Bible says, man. Go ahead. And scattered abroad the inhabitants thereof. Oh, has not has not the most high allowed this man to do that? He scattered the inhabitants thereof throughout all lands, man. He came out, he came out the damn caves, man. You know, took over Greece, came out the damn caves during the during the dark ages. Scattered the so-called black people that were ruling the dark ages. He scattered the North American Indians over here when he conquered this land. That's what this man has done. That's why you see, you see all kinds of different people over here, man. Go ahead. Verse 2. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer. Right, so everybody, man, of any profession, any gender, man, they've been scattered. They've been, everything's been turned upside down, man. Go ahead. So with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, and with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. Verse 3, the land shall be utterly empty. The land shall be utterly empty, man. Look at America, man. America was once, like the scripture says, America was once the Garden of Eden, man, before these white people came over here. Now it's, it's what? It's a wasted and desolated land. But guess what? The earth itself is all desolated, man. Because the real rulers are not ruling this earth. Go ahead. And utterly spoiled. Utterly spoiled, man. Who's spoiled right now? The nation of Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel. These so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Go ahead. For the Most High has spoken this word. Verse 4. Right. The earth mourneth. Right, the earth mourneth, man. The earth is mourning to the mo Most High, man. He's like, man, the earth itself has a spirit. It's like, how long is this devil going to be in rulership, man? They drilling ho holes in the earth, you know, oil, which is literally e external bleeding. You know what I'm saying? They're destroying every substance of life. I mean, you got concrete on the ground, destroying the bones of the, of the different creatures that walk around, which includes you so-called peoples walking around. You got chemical trails all throughout the earth, man. Polluting the earth. You know what I'm saying? You got you got human waste, you, you know what I'm saying, all, all throughout the food, animal waste all throughout the food because these damn devils bullying. You know what I'm saying? You got all kinds of things going on, man. That's destroying the planet Earth, man. Go ahead. And fadeth away. And fadeth away, man. It's fading away. Because the real rulers is not ruling this Earth. You have a vile ruler in the, ruling the Earth. Just like you have, if you put up a child as a leader, you know what I'm saying? As, as a, like, let's say if you put up a five-year-old as a king of the nation. Guess what? The whole nation is going to be childish, man, by nature. You know what I'm saying? The whole nation is going to be childish by nature. So if you put up a vile ruler in the earth and someone that destroys and his curse, you know what I'm saying? Just like how Abraham or Isaac slack you. Isaac cursed or gave that blessing or curse to uh, Edom or Esau. His, his blessing or his curse was to destroy everything and nothing grows out of his hand. So read. Oh, you got it? You got a precept? Switch over. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yep, yeah, yeah, bring that out. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Uh -huh. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Yeah, the children are our oppressors, man. You know, he deal with the young men of our nation, so-called young black, Hispanic, and Native American. They out of their mind, man. You know, sometimes you come out, you come out the damn door, man. 
your best enemy, the greatest enemy you have ain't the so-called white man sometimes. It'd be sometimes your own enemy, your own people, your own kinsmen, man. And that's a curse unto our people, Ree. And women rule over them. Guess what? Women rule over us in these in these latter times, man. And the reason why is because that, that causes confusion and chaos, man. And this white man allowed this thing to come about upon his land to bring forth the destruction of to bring forth infrastructurally and mentally and psychologically and spiritually this place, man. And bring this bring forth the destruction of our nation, first and foremost. And that's what's going on to our people. Go ahead. Oh my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. They which lead thee cause thee to err, man. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? We're we've been led astray. The Lord is but the Lord is setting up real leaders, real rulers, man. The prophets of the Lord, man, are back on the scenes to show you the way. To show you the other things that are soon to come and what's happening right now. All right? And everything that's in this Bible is manifesting itself right before your eyes right now. Read. And destroy the way of thy paths. Right. And it destroys the way of our past, man. All of these different little paradigms of traps that the Lord that the Lord has allowed this white man to set up for our people. So, so uh, where, where you at? Yeah, read that again. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 24, verse 4. Uh -huh. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. Right, the Lord said the earth mourneth and fadeth away. Go ahead. The world languishes and fadeth away. Uh-huh. The haughty people of the earth do not. Right, the haughty people, which which are the proud people, which is, who's the most proud man walking around, the so-called white man, right? So nah. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Uh -huh. Verse five, the earth also is defiled. Right, the earth is defiled because you have the profane men ruling the earth. Everything is defiled in this place, man. There ain't no real food, no real air that we're breathing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cats is coming out the womb, young. Young children are coming out the womb of all nations <laughs> with mutations, you know, with all kinds of uh, different, uh, all kinds of different diseases and whatnot, man. Go ahead. Under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws. Right, they have transgressed the what? The laws. Transgress the laws. When you transgress the laws, pollution comes. And this so-called white man, the Edomites, has, they're not, they don't follow the laws. They don't follow no morality's other laws. At least some of the nations do. This man breaks every last damn law that's in the, that's in the Torah, man, that was given to our nation. That's why this land's polluted. But guess what? We're, we're at fault because we're supposed to be ruling. We're supposed to be serving the Lord and fearing him and keeping his laws, man. Otherwise, this man wouldn't be destroying the earth. Go ahead. Change the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Right, change the ordinance, the laws, and broke the everlasting covenant, man. That's what this man has done. He's made our people do. Read. Verse 6. Therefore has the curse devoured the earth. Okay, guess what? The curse has devoured this whole earth, man. Supposed to give this earth a lamb set, a land Sabbath, man. You're not supposed to be overusing, you know, overdoing, overkilling the resources of the earth. You're supposed to give it a rest. You're supposed to allow, allow it to regenerate. This man plunders and pillages, man, of all sorts, man. That's why this earth is wasted. That's why this earth is in language, man. It laments to the Heavenly Father to get this man up out of rulership, man. It's like, what, what's his name made that joke? Was it Chris Tucker or somebody? Since, or not Chris Tucker, or Chris Rock made that joke or something. One of the little comedians said that, hey, when the black people come into the zoo, the animals is happy because they, they think they're about to come out the zoo. When the white man comes in, damn animals want to kill the damn man. <laughs> That's just an example. Yeah, 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 yeah. Animals always attack Esau, man. 